But you're like, what the hell are they doing today? Guess you gotta watch to find out. know what's wrong with it it starts but for some reason we have some sticky throttle but if you look at this throttle cable right here that'll explain a lot you definitely don't know what the that's even doing uh, but we definitely need a front left tire because that's leaking air as soon as you put air in it and I feel like all the other tires are right behind this one It's another lovely Sunday, and today we, oh, oh man, shit. <laughs> oh man, I had a long weekend. If y'all follow me on Instagram, you're seeing the story. Uh, if y'all can see, we got some nice carbon that Tim is gonna be making stands for his one. <laughs> the... I'm overly dressed for the situation. Like always, <laughs> I guess just mainly because I went out last night and it was just like, yo, you gotta get up and go get this footage because it ain't gonna get itself. This guy always wears non-shop clothes to the <laughs> shop every time. Oh man, I got oil on my jacket that I didn't, why are you wearing it to the shop? I'm in bummy ass like boots, some sh Random Dickies pants, the same exact snap on it, and he's got some fresh ass kicks. They're white on oh, top of everything. Yeah, I don't think that was the best decision, but oh well. Yeah, yeah. Reed was here. He'd be like, "Yo, what are you wearing? You're at the shop." Robert, where are you? Playing PUBG? Come on. Looking at turn 14 parts. Yeah, go ahead and buy some brakes for your E90 M3, please. All right, so. Uh, Guess give them a little detail on this sexy piece of carbon you have here, carbon fiber. So this is from Dragon Plate, and this is just a quarter inch thick by 24 inch by 24 inch plate. Um, it's slightly thinner than the aluminum stands that came with the wing, but it's gonna be way stronger <laughs> anyway. So um, I think theirs is like maybe like two mils thicker than this. So. It's not gonna make a difference. One cut out already. So this is the actual stand. Yeah. This and is all gonna, this is gonna get cut down to the match where the actual trunk is, but I left extra down here just to be able to position exactly where I want it to be, but it needs to be straightened up a little bit with a block, but you get the general idea. Um, it's insane how sturdy this is versus how light it is. So. We're gonna cut the rest of this thing out. I'm gonna cut out the bottom portions. There's just gonna be like a two inch by four inch piece of this uh, sheet metal. I don't remember what gauge this is, but I got my gauge over there. But um, basically what I'm gonna do is put one piece that mounts on the inside and outside of each wing upright. So, so once it actually is welded in here, there'll be one on each side and this will mount. Ooh. So this will mount like that, and there'll be one on the inside too. Okay, so we're using a metal blade on just a handheld battery powered jigsaw. And this stuff is insane. So I've already cut one out, Damn, and I've gone so through about like five of these blades. But you can see when you compare it to this blade that actually has some teeth on it, this is pretty much smooth now. And you can see the heat. I about to say the damn burn marks alone. Yeah, and I've gone through five of these blades. <laughs> 
But this is my last blade and my last little bit of cut, so hopefully we're gonna make it just to getting this cut out. Otherwise I can go into like using the bigger blade and stuff like that I have, but I'd rather not. And always remember, wear, oh, dang, I'm messing up today. Wear mask. Dust is very bad for your health, especially carbon, carbon, carbon fiber, fiber dust. Stuff sucks. Gets in your lung, you get carbon lung. Oh, that's no joke. It sucks. Long sleeves are good. Okay. That stuff. If you if you get any carbon fiber or fiberglass dust in any of your pores, use the coldest water you possibly can, and that'll actually close your pores up, and then you can wash it off with soap. It'll help at least, but if you use hot water right away, it just opens your pores up, and all those fibers get in your, uh, it gets so itchy, and it sucks. Best thing you can do is get uh, baby powder. Put baby powder all over your arms and like your neck and stuff like that. It'll clog your pores up, so then once you actually get the carbon, like any dust on you, you can just wash it off, but I don't have any baby powder here. Cause this is a shop. So we just bolted these guys together and then clamped it on the bottom. So it's even, I wanna make sure that you can see how these are slightly off. So I'm gonna keep sanding this. One, it'll make it completely straight. And then two, it'll also make sure that they both completely match. What are you doing, son? Man, fix them up. <laughs> That's about it. Ball joint on this side was broke when I crashed on this side. So I replaced both lowers with S14 lowers. Um, this side was still S13, so I just swapped that to S14 to have different lengths, so my camber was off. But that's about it. I'm looking at the damage on the axles right now. So I'm running dual caliber e-brake setup. It's a Maverick Motorsport setup, so basically how it works is there's a, it's hard to see, but in here, there's a plate that goes in between my hub. And that's the actual bracket that holds both Z30, uh, Z32, Z33 uh, calipers on there. That little plate oh, okay. goes in between my hub. So, and that's my uh, dual caliper setup. And that basically spaced the axle out eight millimeters. So now my axle is stretched out eight mil. I only want to drive it, so this one's pretty good to be here before anything else happens to it. should be. Yeah. Need a couple more zip ties up in the front. <laughs> Yeah, oh, what did it tap the front of this? Oh, okay. Yeah, it's not your good tie out of here. It's all carbon fiber. Oh my god. But it's, and it's a quarter inch thick. So they just press it in the one? Yeah, it's like 20 layers thick and it's all vacuum back. Yeah. It is all free frag actually, too. I'd like to compare this amount of steel with this piece of carbon. Yeah. As far as weight's concerned. But these, with all of this extra shit and being like twice the height, already weigh almost a full pound less than those. And those are aluminum. Those don't even weigh that much. These are all oh, just yeah. this big saw. So that mounts wing, this mounts to, to the bottom. Yeah, yeah. So I'm, gonna, I'm cutting some of that metal off there and I'm basically just gonna weld two little tiny plates that are so that two inches tall. In yeah, it'll sit in there and they're, they're gonna be two plates like this, so that'll sit in the middle and bolt straight through. So it'll be more or less right here, but uh, probably about maybe like that height. I'm gonna have to use a string and get exactly where the actual roof line, everything is, where it's gonna be even, but I have a bunch of extra material on the bottom half that we're gonna probably cut off. Hold that guy, I'll hold. Here, scoot your body a little bit to the right seat. No, no, you were good where you were. Oh. A little to your right. I feel like camera gets better angles where you're at. Kids, tell me to come up or down. 20 inches flat. Gotcha. Um, hey, this doesn't matter that much. I just need to make sure it's around about where my roof line is. Still for sale. Still for sale. Still for sale. But we will not ship. You have to pick it up. That's the only thing. $300. Comes with everything you see. Original glass. Uh, duck with the wing. And full hatch. Whew. Bring a 
sweat. Weighs a lot. Let's um let's weigh this before I actually sell it. Where will it land? Just gonna go ahead and round up, say 45 pounds. Yep, they're hot. <laughs> All right, now it's gotta take this little brush head guy. It goes on this smaller grinder and clean it all off. See how they're kind of like little surface rolls until it all looks like that. And then spark paint. Um, yeah, then we use that same etch primer because remember etch primer um, adheres correctly to bare metal whereas regular spray can primers are not going to. So definitely wanna use an etch primer only on bare metal. About to get ready for that initial install. Yeah, we're gonna set it so the wing is at the exact like median. This is the middle, it can now adjust to be more aggressive and less aggressive from this point. So, so give us the most adjustment in both directions from where we are. Special thoughts. It seems so much higher now. But that should, exactly off that line, should be just, this roof should be just barely over the top bit of the wing foil. Because once you start getting, if you start putting your wing up higher than your roof level, then you, you get um, undisturbed air, but then the low pressure region between your actual trunk and the bottom half of the wing is gonna get so big that they're probably not gonna interact with each other, which is what you want, because it becomes more efficient that way. And I can adjust it to be less. Angle of attack would be, I guess, a little bit lower, so it won't be as aggressive, but. So that's probably where I'm gonna run it before I do forced induction, it's just as, as flat as I can be for right now, but. I will have the adjustment then later. Actually with this angle right here of this wing stand, I left, I left about like five millimeters out. Where the new wing is, basically this angle of this wing is gonna come out and match exactly up with about here and, and about here. So then it'll come in and then wherever this ends up landing on my trunk, cause the actual trunk is end up gonna be like right around there. It should come about it right there and then scoop up with the spoiler and match about that point. So once it's all bolted up and together, it should look pretty badass. So one of our subs actually hit me up on Instagram and told me a whole story about how he has a FRS and he has a Type 7 wing, just the exact same wing as mine. And he took the wing off to store it, but then someone stole his trunk. So he's missing these mounts and he said he needs the uprights too. So we're just gonna send them to him for free because we're not using them and we appreciate you guys subbing. So. If we can ever help you guys out, we absolutely will. Yeah, his name's Kevy something. We don't know his actual name. That's his <laughs> name on Instagram though. We don't Kevy. know your real name, bro. But guess what? Congratulations. Yeah. You got yourself a, some free shit. a brand new free Voltex Swan X stand and trunk, yeah. what's it, the, trunk mount? Well, the, they're the uprights and the trunk mounts. There you go. Shows you we give back. It's all about good deeds and good vibes, baby. We out. Yeah. <laughs> Hello. Hello. Wrapping this up. I guess let them know what's going on next week. So next week we're gonna have Josh here. I'm gonna tack in the floor pans, and then once we have Josh. Here he's going to do the tube front end and some other small trinkets, add one of the bars for the roll cage and some stuff just to make me pass tech in the unlimited class now. So now that we went down to unlimited, it's gonna be a lot harder to pass tech, but uh, we'll be a lot more competitive in that field, so. Yeah, especially just starting out. Yeah, so tune in next week. We'll do the whole tube front end. It's gonna be crazy. Click that button. Subscribe, please. Hey, hey, hey. Oh,
Yeah. 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 I really get jiggy with back hands. Just taking the back in the gas can. Acid don't fuck with my cast can. Don't be afraid of this black man. Don't be afraid of my mask. Then. Came from the dark on my dad's skin. Giving my first to my last can. Rubbing the lotion, ain't asking. Point that shit right at the cop. Yeah. Told you she love when it drops. Told you she love when it falls. Counting the cutty, she say the one.